So five sixths and two ninths. So our five sixths. If you're working on it right now, what goes on the inside of our our symbol, the five or the six? Five. Good, because it means five divided by six. Okay, and down here you should have two divided by nine. Of course, you mean 5.0 probably with a decimal there. How many times does our six go into our 50? Eight. Um, eight, times. eight times, good. Okay, so zero for our five, but eight for our 50. Uh huh. If we get 48, we'll subtract, and we get two. Okay, we don't have a repeat yet. So if you add a zero, Six goes into, how many times six go into 20? Three. Three. Three times, all right. That gives us 18. We subtract, we get what? Two. Two. Do we have a repeat? Yes. yes. We already have a repeat. That's kind of nice. We have to keep going. Here we got 20. Notice six went into 23 times. We got 18. We got 20 again. Six is going to go into 20. It's not going to change. I mean, six doesn't magically go into 20 at another time. If it goes into 23 times, it's going to continue going into 23 times. So you could show another one. You need to show at least two. You show at least two so you can, you can underline, well, actually overline it. It's a superscript. 18, subtract, you get two. But we're going to get that same pattern. It's going to be 20 again. So we're going to highlight that 3, 3. You're not going to highlight the 8 because that 8 is not repeating. So what we've done here is we go, okay, we got the 0, we got the 8, but then we got 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. It's going to go 3 forever. So we're going to write this as 0 0.833 and highlight that 3,3 because 3, that 3,3 3 is what's repeating there. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. All right, let's try one more. Let's get this one down too. So you got the 9 into the 2. Hopefully you put the 2.0 with the decimal up top and 9 is not going into 2 at all. 9 does go into 22 times. We'll get 18. Subtract, we get 2. Here we go again. What now? <laughs> here, here we go again. You see what happened? You actually already have a repeat, don't you? You have the same number again. So here we just say, well, 9 does go into 22 times again, but I'm going to keep getting 18s and 20s the whole way through. So already I'm done. So here we'd say this is 0 0.22. You show that pattern, and that's going to repeat forever and ever and ever and ever. You okay with that so far? You know what's interesting about nines? Nines are kind of a, a crazy number. You can multiply by nines kind of nicely. Um, also, fractions with nines. If you have one over nine, it's going to be point one 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 forever. If you have two over nine, two 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 two. Three over nine, three 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 three. Four over nine, four 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 four. Isn't that kind of crazy? Five over nine, five 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 five. It's interesting. Six over nine, six 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 six. Well, you can see that six over nine is two thirds. That's six 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 six. Yeah, forever. That's crazy. It's kind of, nine's an interesting number. There's a lot of number theory you can do with nines. Anyway, let's try one more. I'll have you do one on your own. We'll talk about how to do this with some mixed numbers, then move on to order of operations. So here, of course, we're going to do, what's going to go on the inside? All right. And seven's on the outside. Well, in this case, seven actually does go into 22. Seven goes into 22 how many times? Three. That's 21. When I subtract, I'll get 1, and then what do I need to do? Put a zero. In order to put a 0, what do I need to add on? I can't just do add this. Because that changes to 220. I don't want to change the value. What do I need? Add a decimal. Do need the decimal. So notice, if you're going to start putting zeros, it better be behind a decimal. So that means the decimal goes up there. It's going to be 3 point something. If I bring down the 0, how many times does it go into 10? How many? 1. one. Okay, so I get seven. What now? Yeah, well, I get three. Ten times four. Four. Okay. Twenty-eight. Whew. How many times? Two. Two times. Are you still sticking with me here, folks? Yeah. Two times. Okay, that's fourteen. Have we repeated yet? No. no. <laughs> Damn. Seven times eight. How many? Eight. <laughs> My arms get tired. Seven times five. Five. 
Five. Okay. Five. Five. Zero down. Zero down. I don't know. Seven times. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I mean seven. 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 Okay, forty-nine. And then finally, one. one. Zero. Put down. Aha. Aha. I stopped at eight. And right there, you get the repeat now. Do you repeat? Yes. yes. Every fraction will repeat. Every fraction will have a repeat. It will happen. A fraction is going to be represented as a decimal. It, it's not going to be, un, it, it might be unending. This will go on forever, but it will have a repeat to it. It has to. So you just have to find the repeat. Now, it might be a long way, but as soon as it does, notice we have a 10, 30, 20, 60, 40, 50, but then another 10. That's where your repeat happens. It's after, <laughs> it's after this whole thing here. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get a 1 out of that, right? The next one's going to be a 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. Four, then 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. This whole thing repeats. So 3.142857, 1. So you put the line. The whole thing. That whole thing's going to repeat. The next digit's 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. 1, 4, 8, 2, 5. That's crazy. Actually, you know what this, this, this number is? Is that pi? It's not pi. Pi is irrational, it can't be represented by a fraction. However, back in the, in the old days, uh, people wanted a, a number that would represent pi very well. They used this one. 22 over 7 is the same to the hundredths, uh, and pretty close to the thousands. Pi is 3.14159. This is 3.142. So it's off on the thousands by less than a thousandth. So it's pretty darn close. So this was used a long time ago as an approximation for pi. Interesting stuff, huh? I'm so much glad you came today to find out that useful piece of information. Uh -huh. That's what we used in the circumference over the 3.14. Yeah, but we were approximating. Pi yeah, doesn't end. It, and it doesn't repeat. Okay. Let's try to do one on your own here, similar to this one. Find the repeat, and then we'll talk about mixed numbers. Okay, so did you find the end of this? Are you still working? Okay, keep working.
All right, so what numbers go on the inside of our division symbol, folks? 28. 28, okay. And 13. We'll probably have to have a decimal place with a zero, so I'll put that up there right away. I know that 13 is going into 28 two times. That gives me 26. I subtract, I get 2. I bring down the zero. That goes in one time. I get 13. I subtract, I get 7. Bring it down. 13 into 70? Five times. Five times. Subtract, I get five. Bring the zero down. You get times three? Thirty-nine. Subtract, I get eleven. Eight times? Yeah. You said one oh four, right? Yeah. Then you get six. Four times. Four times. That's going to be eight. Oh my gosh. How many? Six. 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 You get 78, and then you repeat after that. Does it? Finally? Yeah. <laughs> if I add a zero, I get 20. Oh, thank goodness. Here's a 20. Here's a 20. It's repeating. I can stop right there. This is going to repeat. One, five, two. I'm sorry, one, five, three, eight, four, six repeats over and over and over again. How many people were able to find that? Oh, it's kind of annoying though, isn't it? Yes. It really is. Aren't you glad you have calculators? Next test you get calculators on it. Yeah, you can't use it this test, but next test in the final you'll be able to. Okay, now let's talk about the three and five sixteenths. Listen, what's the whole number on three and five sixteenths? Three is a whole number, right? And numbers in front of decimal places are also whole numbers. Here's what you can do with this. Instead of really worrying about the three, here's what I know. You guys need to be watching on the board here. Here's what I know. This whole part is going to stay a whole part. So this right here, this three and five sixteenths, I know it's going to be three point something. All you have to do is figure out what the five sixteenths gives you. Three is a whole number. It's going to be three point something. Just do the five sixteenths off to the side. Whatever decimal point you get here, that's going to be attached to that three. It's going to be three point and then whatever you get here. This is three and five sixteenths, or three point. Three and means decimal. Three and five sixteenths. Three point and then the five sixteenths. So convert the five sixteenths into a decimal and then attach it to that three. Go ahead and finish that up now. Five sixteenths is going to end. Uh, it should be a four, a four length decimal. It would be sixteen divided by five. Oh, I'm sorry, you know what, I have that backwards. I knew something was fishy. There you go. Five divided by 16. So finish that up, do the five divided by 16, and find me that decimal.